Hello and welcome back to West Ham Reunited. Uh, uh, I'm Andy, hope everyone's keeping well and of most importantly, um, obviously it's my first show 2022, Happy New Year. Um, yeah, so obviously uh, for people who may not be aware, um, j- just before Christmas I've catched um, COVID so I've, I'm, I wouldn't say I've fully recovered yet but I'm, 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 I'm back and uh, I sort of made a decision, maybe a bit hasty where I was feeling not a bit down but obviously um laying around and i thought i don't really want to do this no more um probably because of what's happened but yeah i've made the decision to come back again Uh, i'm going to be doing stuff a little bit differently probably doing um uh previews and stuff like that um keeping them short and um uh, short and sweet and then and and then go from there but yeah like i said um i'm going to be doing stuff a little bit differently and i thought i'll start off with um something which obviously something which we've not had a um uh been great on his, his strikers but let's just see who we've got in the chat uh grant i hope you're well mate i hope you're keeping safe and well happy new year hammerhead i hope you're well uh i hope you're well and getting there i'm in the same boat and yeah sorry mate i know covid's uh is a um is a killer isn't it but uh hopefully you're on the med soon mr chef ho- hope you're well as well sir and the day's banter. Thanks, Dad. Um, I know you've been there for me over over the Christmas break. Obviously, we've done a few watch alongs and and stuff like that. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really good. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to that as well. Right. So uh, the reason why I've got you here tonight is um, strikers. Obviously, I thought I'd do a bit of a rating over the last few years since David Gold and Sullivan. Um, and people in the chat as well, you can get in. Um, Get involved as well. We're going to give them ratings of the strikers which have been brought under the David Golden and Sullivan era. I'm going to start with the first first year, which is obviously quite a few. Some people um, um, some people may disagree, but I'm guessing we're going to have uh, uh, fun. And right, we're going to get started. So this is a blast from the past, everyone. We're going to start with this man, Mido. Who remembers him? Uh, as you can see there, we signed him in January 2010 on loan from Middlesbrough and he left the club in June. He made nine appearances and scored no goals. But yeah, obviously this will start the era where where we thought we could make a uh, make a change. Sorry, let's have a look here at the, some comments before I grab. Oh, let's have a look here. Keep it up, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, thanks, Daya. Good to see you. Reed. Oh, here we go. They're they're on they're on what they're on one already, and everyone's just saying, Mr. Hardy, Mr. H. Hope you're doing well, sir. Yeah, thousand thousand pound a week. Uh, obviously he's paid for a few clubs, um, Tottenham, Middlesbrough, Wigan, and obviously the most important stat is what we like to look in a striker. He's obviously nine appearances and no goals. Obviously. Uh, I remember, I think um, uh, Ryan uh, Ryan mentioned it as well when he when he come on and he had a he had a bit of a bit of a bit of a belly on him and um, yeah, obviously wasn't great. Obviously, we saw, uh, does anyone have any memories uh, of him? Uh, I I am actually gave him a rating so impact so what he done for the team. Uh, I gave him a one out of ten. I'd like to know what anyone else in the chat. I'll give everyone a few minutes to. Uh, to write down it was there any memories what spring to mind when Mido signed for us obviously we signed him in the January uh desperate uh desperately needing him uh but yeah I'll just wait for the comments to flow in what everyone thinks of Mido yes Mr H he he uh he, he was he was he, uh, he was originally at Tottenham and then he had spells at Middlesbrough and Wigan as well Oh, here we go. The folks, yeah, I do. He only and yeah, exactly, exactly. It's it's not it's not great. I can check here. So he, yeah, the nine appearances he got. Two, yeah, I'll give him credit. He got two yellow cards for us and played 491 minutes and no goals. What a contribution from the lad. Zero out of ten. Like it. 0.5 out of ten. Hammerhead straight in. And of course. Mr. 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 Scott, one, Mr. H, 
I, I, I'm going to put you in a timeout if you, uh, if you, uh, if you say that. Uh, minus ten, minus ten. I thought that said ten. Then I thought that said ten. Any assists? No, Mister. No, no Mister Chef. No assists. Surprise. Uh, anyone who did get an assist, they will appear there as well. So uh, this is a question for you. Would you have Mido in this team if if we had to? Would, would, we said we need a striker. Would you take me, though? I'm only kidding, gents. I'm only kidding. But when I say we've had some good strikers, we have, haven't we? And uh, let's have a look. Dayas gave him a zero. James, hope you're well, mate. Uh, well, yeah, it means a lot. And Mike saying one for turning up. Are you ready? We've, uh, here we go. Ready? Ready for a good striker. What about this man? Who remembers him? Mr. Benny McCarthy, the best thing since sliced bread. And um, uh, the, as the quote said, uh, Benny McCarthy said Cameron Brady's um, uh, the, uh, the tit in business. <laughs> uh, the, the, no, the bitch with tits, sorry. The bitch with tits. And Cameron Brady's response was, at least I was meant to have tits. So obviously Cameron Brady getting one back. On Mr. Benny McCarthy, who we signed for two and a half million pound and left in April 2011 by mutual consent. Um, but yeah, we made 14 appearances for the club. Um, I, I don't remember him even having an impact on the pitch. I know he put, I know he loved a uh, uh, some food, but <laughs> that's probably the only benefit we could give him, gents. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, Benny McCarthy. Big man Benny, yeah, was unreal. Yeah, I know. If if we got him before he went there, um, I think I think he uh, uh, I think he would have been so different. But yeah, they are saying yeah, so far, yeah, uh, never heard of him. Yeah, this is this is this is around the 2010 era, so you probably may not know. Uh, Hammerhead Benny gets 1.5 out of 10, one out of 10. Oh, yeah, I remember that Scott when he said, "Yeah, he's been on the train. He's been he's been uh been on the training pan and not had enough pies." But yeah, no. Uh, like I said, uh, these strikers do get better. I, I, I will say, gents. And yeah, fair shout from uh, Karen. Uh, free for digging out Brady. Yeah, we could probably give him that. Actually, I'll give him an extra mark. I'll probably give him a two. One for one for putting on the shirt. I bet that was a struggle as well. And obviously, um. Um, for, for digging out Karen, he turned down many times to come to us. It was shit. Yeah, he was, he was Mr. H, definitely. Happy Amaret. Hope you're feeling better. And good still. Yeah. Uh, and hope it was love. Right. Um, does anyone have any more memories apart from Benny McCarthy? Like I said, he was he was good for us, but two and a half million pound. Probably thinking we've got the solution to a. Uh, to uh, to get us through, but unfortunately that didn't happen. But I am now going to move on to our next striker. This, the, by the way, these are going in order uh, of when we signed them. And the next one, it, I'm not doing all of them today. This, there's going to be some in sections. Sorry, I should have said that at the start. The next one is Freddie Pickion. We signed him in January 2010 for one million pound, and then he left the club in 2013. Obviously, this is probably one of the better stats for the strikers who we've got so far. Freddie Picciano was obviously a part of us in the in the promotion side as well. Um, but yeah, 62 appearances, um, 11 goals and 11 assists uh, for the club. Uh, I know he scored a crucial goal um, against Tottenham. Uh, there was some other... To be honest, uh, he wasn't great, but he wasn't good, if that makes sense. I'll I, I probably rate him out of like 5 out of 10. He, he, he was... Um, uh, he was a good thing. Let's have a look. People are saying hello, uh, to each other. Yeah, Adam, uh, thanks, mate. Means a lot. Uh, I'll catch up with you after I haven't catched up with you for a while. Uh, let's have a look. A two, two out straight in there. Two out, two out, two out of ten. Let's have a look here. Uh, highlights scored a goal with his ear. Yeah, I remember that. I think Jack Collinson scored. Was it Jack or Carlton? One of them as well. Yeah, when they scored there. A four out four out of ten. Uh, Hammerhead uh, says a four out of ten. If if only yeah no he, he he did okay. Like I said, we signed him. Let me get my figures right because I've wrote these down. 
Uh, yeah, we signed him for a million pound from Leon after his loan spell at Pompey. So this was an Avran Grant, uh, Avran Grant signing. Uh, Mr. S- Mr. Chef saying giving him a four out of ten. Uh, yeah, I remember that goal against against the Spuds. Deserved it for that. Yeah, most definitely. And yeah, his his winning goal. Um, uh, his winning goal at Coventry will always stay in mind. Yeah, we took. Yeah, six. That's what I did love about the championship. We, uh, that's what. That's the only problem. I know it's good that we're in the Premier League, but you, apart from like Brentford, a lot of grounds you go to all the time. So it's nice to go to them. Off, remember like Doncaster and Rotherham and stuff like that. And Mister H as well, giving him a three out of ten, and they are giving him a five out. Of 10. I actually agree with Dyer. I'm going to give him a five as well. Um. He tried, and obviously he stayed with us in the championship. He got a cut, like you said, the goals at Coventry. He got a um, uh, a few a few important goals for us, like uh, Mike said as well, against the Spuds. So yeah, I am going to give him a five out of ten as well. Moving on, gentlemen. So we have got we've got a few more to go, and the next one is Elan. Who remembers him? We signed him in January 2010 as well on a free transfer, and then he left. Um. Oh, I've got the goals wrong. My apologies. He didn't get 11 goals. He got four goals. Oh, schoolboy error. Schoolboy error. He got four goals for us. My apologies. So he made 11 appearances and four goals. And the four goals. Um. So he was up front with Mido, McCarthy, and Pickion. And his four goals in the league were crucial in a four-game run. Against Everton away, I remember that diving header, Sunderland at home, Liverpool, and of course, the fantastic goal with Scott Parker um, for Wigan. So yeah, let's have a look here. Uh, here, Let's have a look, Barnsley away too. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that, Scott. Yeah, I think it was Bristol City as well we did. Yeah, let's have a look. Scott straight in as well. Look, Scott's on fire tonight. Highlight that header against Everton away. What a ball. Yeah, I think it was Jodian Fober, I think. Um, uh, with um, with that, and to be honest, I thought he was actually really decent, gents. I thought he, um, uh, I thought he tried his heart. He he, he 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 did do pretty well for us, in my opinion. He uh, he got himself about a bit, and yeah, like like what um, uh, Scott's given him a four out of ten. Um, Hammerhead doesn't uh, with a two. Yeah, day yeah, five out of ten. Yeah, crucial goals. Yeah. I uh, don't remember him. Yeah, no, like you said, this is back in 2010. That they do get better. <laughs> they do get better. There's, I think, there's 54 strikers we we, we need to pick. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, uh, Elang got us up. It was Sunderland at home. That one that stood out for me. Seven out of ten. Yeah, no, good shout. A good shout. Uh, not bad. Did okay. Um, uh, uh, five. Uh, Scott seven. <laughs> And Elan Five. Evening, Ken. I hope you're doing well, mate. Happy New Year to you as well. Right. Next striker, everyone. It is Pab- uh, Pablo Barrera. Right. Um, this probably may cause it, but even though he was a winger, he's passed he's passed as a forward because he played like right winger, forward. Uh, say it how you like it. But uh, obviously, we signed him for four, four million pounds in July 2010. And then he left the club in July 2012. Uh, obviously, he made 23 appearances and two assists. Yeah, I know, Scott. Uh, I may maybe being maybe being harsh, but he was a right winger, not a right midfielder. So I've sort of um, I've sort of classed him um, uh, as that. But yeah, no. Uh, let's have a look here too. Pereira <laughs> World Cup straight in Kent. Love it. A flop. Uh, let's have a look. Striker, but or not, he was pony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two out of ten flop. I don't remember this, Pablo. <laughs> yeah, no, it just proves how many strikers we've actually had. Uh, everyone, obviously, he, he, he had, uh, like Kent said up there, uh, above, he was a well, he had a good World Cup, and all of a sudden, he was meant to be the next. Uh, Next thing, I'll give you the brief info one second. Yeah, we we got him on a four four year contract with an option for an extra year. Uh, never managed to get off the ground. His backers will say not out an out striker. 
but he was classed as a ringer. But still, no goals and two assists to his name. And obviously, we were then uh, relegated. Uh, I am going to give him a. T- I'm going to give him a two as well. I think. Um, but yeah, no, another flop. Now this is the next. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. Happy. I, I understand that. I really do. Far too young to remember him. Right. This next. This, this next player may cause a bit because I actually loved him. I, I remember him him being crucial um, in in a few games and um, the what was it called then? The Carling Cup. Uh, the victory against Manchester United at home. The 4-0 victory. And it's this man, Victor Abina. Uh, obviously, we then signed him on loan from Inter Milan. He made 32 appearances for the club. Um, eight goals, but he got 10 assists for us, which is uh, which is a, g- a good going. And like you said, three of them come in that, that game in the, um, in the Carabao Cup. Um, so, yeah. He signed on loan from Inter Milan, having previously impressed in Italy. Um, uh, he managed, uh, yeah, eight goals, eight goals for us in all competitions as well. Some West Ham fans still, um, still wondering what happened. Uh, does anyone else in the chat have any memories of Abina? Like I said, uh, uh, I remember Blackpool away. I think I've, I've, I remember him scoring there. Um, so yeah, no, I, I, I thought. Yeah, I agree with what Kent's saying here. Uh, a six, hot and cold. But yeah, it's 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 a mad. He, I, I thought he'd done well, and he, he put his heart on his slate. Yeah, some lovely tricks and tricks. Yeah, Scott, I, I absolutely absolutely agree. I think at some points he didn't know what, like Mikel Antonio, he didn't really know what he was doing. Um, and how were the defenders? But yeah, let's have a look here. Mr. Hatcher thought Victor was handy. Yeah, great win. And what was six point five? Yeah, no, I like that. I'm I'm actually going to give him a six. Uh, yeah, let's have a look here. Uh, didn't yeah, I think he did, Scott. I think you're right. Um, I can't remember who it was against, but no, like you said, very tricky winner. I think he probably won a couple of penalties uh, as well. Let's have a look here. Yeah, he didn't like the cold weather. Yeah, cold cold uh, away trip to Stoke. Eh, definitely. Uh, Grant's giving uh, a winner a six out of ten. So yeah, like you said, we seem to be all consistent around the same um, same um, track. Let's have a look here. Adam Abinner was one of the few that worked hard in that crap side. Yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely I agree with you there. Yeah, Birmingham springs to mind. Right, so we only have two more gentlemen before our, my next show, which I'll probably do the same time next. Um, next week or on a Monday. But the next one is this man. Demba Bar. What an absolute player this man was. Obviously signed for six hundred and eighty grand. Um yeah. Thirteen appearances, seven goals. Uh I absolutely loved him. Obviously we signed him from Hoffenheim. Uh Seven goals. He he was top scorer for us uh, in in that appearance. Uh, I remember his header against Liverpool. Um, uh, West Brom away with his two goals. But yeah, I absolutely loved him. And then when he signed, which you can understand, when he signed for uh, for Newcastle, that really did hurt. And obviously, he he went on to have a good career. Uh, but yeah. No, it's uh, it's uh, sad, sad times when when he said that. Now let's have a look here at the current. Yeah, Scott Denver Bar, eight out of ten. Yeah, I know. Single-handedly, nearly kept us up. Now we're talking. Yeah, I agree. Eight out of ten says Daya. Perfect. Denver. Um. Yeah, I know. I wish he stayed longer. Seven out of ten from Hammerhead. Mr. Mike Hatcher's going in with an eight as well. Unreal. Uh. Yeah, I agree with you, Adam. I gave him a nine out of ten as well. I thought he, I thought it was absolutely outstanding. Uh, like I said, uh, he, what what he done, what he done for us, and the, uh, some memories. Obviously, that Liverpool game, like I said, uh, springs to mind. But I do obviously understand why he went on to Newcastle, and then obviously he made that dream partnership with uh, with Cisse as well, and then obviously had a good career uh, at Chelsea. Obviously, that famous goal. The Stephen Gerrard slip to stop Liverpool winning the title. 
Yeah, the lift goes on. Yeah, I agree there. Yeah, upset he didn't stay. I, he would have teared up that championship if he did. He he definitely would. A 7 out of 10 from Mr. H. And Kent Hammers giving an 8.5. Yeah, top player. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately he um, he didn't stay with us. Uh, yeah, the famous Gerard Son, as, as Mike Hatcher said. Yeah, the fu- yeah, I remember that, Kent. Was that the header? He, it, was it like the back post header what he scored? Because didn't he score two and picking on scored one, I believe, um, uh, from from the top of my head? Let's have a look here. Um, brand new player to the Prem and hit the ground running straight away in such a poor team. No surprise. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. What a player. And Scott is saying correct to Kent. Now, this last player, this is probably going to split this will probably be the hardest one to judge um, from one. So th- this is the last sign in what we made in January 2011. So my next ones will be uh, when we moved, uh, when we got relegated and we got into the championship. So, um, uh, yeah, one second, one second, sorry. And the next one is Robbie King. Obviously, we signed him from our arch rivals, Tottenham. Um, uh, on a loan and uh, left in May 2011 uh, yeah it was it, I, I know what you mean Franco was a great player Scott but actually he was uh, before David Golden Sullivan so that was uh, the Icelandic when Zola was in charge obviously Zola Zola left the end of the end of this and uh, uh, the end of that window so yeah uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, Robbie King, shame I liked him to work with. Yeah, so like I said, ten appearances, two goals, and um, and and one and one assist. Um, I I thought he done well for us considering, as you can see there, one of the celebrations. He was a um, for for it, it, I know we don't do we we got to sort of go the other way, but yeah, no, uh, with regards to Tottenham, but. He, he done a job for us and he nearly kept us up as well. Obviously, he left after his loan deal and then that's when he went to um, uh, to the MLS after that. But no, he was he, he was a good he was a good player. Um, really really enjoyed him in the in in Claret and Blue. Like I said, two goals, one assist. Uh, nearly uh, nearly enough to, to uh, keep us up. So yeah, I'm gonna give him a a five. I five. Uh, let's have a look and see. Uh, Daya gives him a four, two. Never forget him missing an open goal. Oh, I, I don't remember that, Adam. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, but most of us were living in a fantasy. Yeah, let's have a look here. But yeah, buzzing when he signed was past it. Should have scored more. Let's have a look. What Kent says uh, five. Uh, average with us and missed a lot of chances. And I, yeah, there we go. Uh, that, that must have been the one what Adam was on about. But yeah, people. So yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to try and keep them short and sweet with like 25, 25 minutes um, uh, per per one, just to make it a um, uh, to make it um, short and sweet. So it's not so it's not long stint, so to speak. So yeah, like I said, um, they're the ones. But the next one's coming up. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for too much. But there's a certain John Carew as well who's going to be featuring in my next episode. So this is this will be the first year when we got um, promoted uh, in the championship, and then when we got promoted, obviously another player. I'm going to spoil it. There's another Mar- uh, Shamak, of course, another no goal scorer for us. So he's going to feature on my next show. Like I said, I'm going to try and keep him in eight or nine, um, just to keep it short and sweet. But yeah, no. Um, like I said. Um, I'm going to be doing things a little bit different on the channel. Uh, this is another series what I've come up with. I am going to be returning for uh, the Reunited Fives with the kits. I've got another idea with like famous goals and stuff like that. But a lot of stuff I'm going to keep on my chest until I manage to get uh, everything sorted. But yeah, I want to thank everyone for the support uh, for coming back. Uh, I've got some amazing guests lining up as well. A couple you probably will recognise. But yeah, like you said, uh, I'm... Uh, I'm slowly, slowly recovering from COVID, so I'm, I'm feeling a lot better and got, and got some great ideas. But yeah, if you are new around here, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe on the video. 
it does mean a lot. And of course, as well, I forgot to give my shout outs because I was that excited uh, to get it on. Uh, channel sponsor Glazewise, Windows Doors and Conservatories, John is your man. And if you mention West Ham or United, you get a discount. And of course, the usual shout out as well for Iron Supporting Food Banks. So uh, if you could help John and his team, that would be amazing. And my last one as well is, of course, I know a lot of people have been doing some stuff as well. I've put the link in the description as well. It's for Isla Kane. If anyone can make any donations, it will be amazing. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Ken, he is. You've spoiled it again, Ken. I know how good you are. There's some other ones, but there's some, some there's some other good ones as well who spring to mind um, who, who did help us. Thanks, Dave. It really does mean a lot. Uh, Mike, good to have you back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And yeah, good to have you back. Thanks, Grant. Means a lot. And have him. I'm painting, so couldn't comment. But glad you're back to yourself. See you Sunday if you're out there. Yeah, definitely. I will, I will be there on Sunday. Looking forward to that. Three, obviously, three games in a week for the Hammers. Uh, playing Leeds twice and uh, one in the FA Cup, one in the league. And of course, uh, um, Norwich midweek. Well done. Uh, well, done. thanks, Scott. Means a lot. And <laughs> I want to see her. Oh, there's a bit of flirting going on with the with with Dyer and Harry. <laughs> no, uh, and of course, let's have a look. Let me just do something. Uh, sorry, that one has to go. Uh, uh, all the best. Cheers, mate. Uh, obviously that, and you don't. Oh, here we go. And let's just remove another one. Another bit of spam being blocked. But no, thank you for everyone. It means a lot. Anyone put anyone who is um, watching this back, put put your ratings in the in the comments if you wish. It'll be interesting to see, and I'll read them out on the start of the next show. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to be a mod, drop me a DM. But of course, Mister Mister uh, Mister Chef, of course, will become a mod. I've not even had to do that yet. Of course you can, Dow. You can be a, you can be a mod if you want any news, uh, John. Hope you are well, sir. Um, you need to go to this man, the Days Banter. He's not an in the know show, but he um, uh, he, he will give you some info. That's all I'm going to say on that front. And of course, uh, gents, I will sort it out for you after to become mods, and I will let you know. But yeah, thanks for everyone. Enjoy your evening. And like I said, I'll be back doing a little preview for the Leeds game. And you never know. Of course, you can, you can become a mod happy as well. I didn't forget you. Oh. Oh. That's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. Oh, here we go. There's a war going here. Fan, uh, fantastic. Oh, here we go. Here we go. But no, I hope everyone enjoys uh, the rest of their um, their evening. Like I said, I'll be back doing a preview. Uh, I'm going to be still doing my appreciation um, appreciation nights. The next one will be Ginger Pele, so I'll be getting a few people on. So if you want to come on and talk about uh, uh, Ginger Pele as well, uh, let me know. But hope everyone enjoys the rest of their evening and take care. And if you want to chat to me, obviously you can message uh, me on Twitter or uh, the West Ham Reunited Twitter as well, if you wish. But hope everyone uh, keeps uh, safe and well and take care. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.